Hey friends, it's Shane from HunterRinch.com and I'm in our shipping department and I'm pissed. And you know how like normally you order something and you're all excited and that's why you spend your hard earned money on the stuff uh, that you purchase because you're like, I need that, that's going to be great. And I understand what algorithms and how Facebook and YouTube all that works, but I swear to you, the moment I hit the purchase button and ordered this rear stand for a new track bike that uh, we have here at How to Wrench, uh, How to Wrench Workshop, uh, I'm going to show it to you here in a second. The moment I hit send uh, or order, I get hit up with every video possible, every ad for sale and everything. I'm like, duh, I already purchased it. <clears throat> but the reason I'm pissed is Brian over there at Sport Bike Track, uh, SGT, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Dude, he puts together like this killer video telling me what a piece of shit, telling all of us what a piece of shit this stand's going to be and why not to buy it. Of course I got to see this video, like right after I hit the order button. But man, uh, I kind of give it a shout out to those guys that were there. Brian did a great job on this video. I'm going to link his video below of why you should buy a quality stand. He's a big muscle head, man. And he takes this stand, folds it in half. I'm not even going to attempt to. Plus, I do need to use it until I decide to spend the money on the good ones. But you can't watch that video and not agree uh, on how much better like a Woodcraft and a Pitbull, how their stands are. And then I got in a damn wormhole, Brian, because in that, in the comments on your video, someone sent me to who Pitbull is and that he's an old NASA engineer. Next thing you know, I'm watching like videos on the moon for like two hours. So thanks a lot, man. Uh, you know, all jokes aside, it was a great video and why we won't buy quality products. I'm going to tell you right now. This isn't going to be one. So I'm going to have to step up my game, man. I'm so bummed. Why is that going to show up right after he hit the send button? But let me slap this, uh, as Brian puts it, piece of junk together. I'll just show you the bike quick. We're pretty stoked. Um, got some big plans for 2020. One of them is to, uh, to really work on trying to get back in shape. Uh, there's plenty of freaking assholes uh, on YouTube one tell me how fat I am. So you know what? I'm going to take that as motivation. And you're right. I put a lot of weight on and I'm gonna do something about it. So thanks for being a dick. That's for all you people that are dicks. <laughs> but anyway, let me put this thing together. I'm really excited about this bike for our actual friends and family and fans here at the channel. And I wanna share with you what we got. All right, here it is. Got a, another R6. Had a 06 last time. This one's an 07. Uh, pretty low miles. It's got dang near all the goodies as the one I had last time. And I, I sold it in California just because it was so expensive to live out there. So this was pretty cool to find one that's uh, like super similarly equipped. But the only thing it doesn't have is engine case savers. It does have sliders in there, but it's got uh, Olin's front and rear. Uh, we bought this from uh, my friend over at Helmet and Hills, and uh, we've been friends for quite a few years, and this is one she was finally getting ready to part with, and it was, it was just so crazy how similar it was, but it's going to be pretty cool. I think it's going to be a great way to get me back on the track, like I said, hit those uh, uh, physical goals uh, for my health that I want, and uh, need something to aim at, right? So this thing's going to be pretty cool, but uh, it, was, it was pretty neat. It has a steering dampener gear indicator. I mean, it's just loaded with uh, accessories. Came with uh, spare wheels and then it came with a crazy amount of goodies. All the street body work, which I'm going to flip. I don't, I don't have any interest in riding this on the street, so that's something, but it's got a full uh, Acropovic exhaust system on it, by the way, with the carbon can. Kind of excited about that. I got all the stock suspension and forks. And it came with all kinds of gearing, a whole bunch of springs for really light people. So I'll have some lightweight Olin stuff for sale, stock stuff, filters, all kinds of sprockets and uh, and goodies. I'll get through this at some point, um, but we're just super stoked uh, to have a chance to get back out and do some track days and hopefully meet a bunch of uh, the, the Phoenix and, and once again maybe the Southern California people. Uh, got a chance to go see August Nord racing at Button Willow, and I uh, thought that looks like a really cool, or not Button Willow, I'm sorry, Chuck Walla. Um, I rode Button Willow while I was out uh, living in California, so just super fun uh, places, and like I said, I can't wait just to get back out there to meet people, 
uh, that are like-minded and dig the same thing. So, thanks again to Helmets and Heels. I don't even have time to open it all here, but this actually came from uh, Dan Kyle Racing. Uh, uh, Wendy and uh, Bobby happened to be up there and pick that up for me. It's actually the latest generation Olin Shock. And, well, you know what? Why don't we just open it? I haven't even opened it yet. It's supposed to be the tools so that I can service these Olin Shocks uh, myself because I got a blown fork still. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Ding, ding. Be able to do this myself. Dampener tool. I wasn't sure if I had one of those. Uh, seals, oil, latest shock. Especially want to give a shout out uh, to the, the deal that we got hooked up with. Uh, from all those people involved is awesome. All I know is I was kind of blown away from the customer service uh, just over the phone. But I believe this is the, yeah, this is the spec sheet. Um, this is so cool. And I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, even though my last bike was pretty set up with suspension, I didn't play with it or use it. I've never really had the money or rode at that level, you know, to go build a bike like this. Should you be twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 and putting all this stuff together, you know? So there's a lot of great used deals out there where now you can actually get into something and, and really start to play around with it. So I'm really looking for some personal goals to really play with um, actual suspension settings and then to see how it works. Like how much did that affect uh, um, my lap times and so on. So it's a pure personal goal. Going to be a lot of fun. I got a lot of cool people. Probably lean on my buddy Lance for that too. Uh, but there's just, uh, it, it's it's going to be pretty wild. So one of the things that uh, I kind of made a little joke about in the beginning of the video was I don't know what the deal was, but like people are crazy. And I know with uh, with YouTube and stuff, you just got to be willing to roll with it or any kind of social media. But man, there are a bunch of dickheads out there, right? Like it was crazy. I did this one video and I couldn't believe how many people, well, actually there's one person that started it and then it just exploded where basically say I, I was fat you know and I you know there's a couple different ways you can look at because I looked at first and you know it, it it obviously bothered me but then I looked in the mirror and I thought you know what god dang I'm I'm getting fat like this this is no joke like I've put on a lot of weight and I it pisses me off because like I worked so hard to get down to this target weight from back when I was in Iowa when I moved to California and you make all the excuses in the world, I was busy and blah, 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 and California has great food or whatever, but really it's lifestyle. And I just want to take uh, this opportunity that that motivated me, right? So like when I bought my suspension here, I literally bought it for 20 pounds less as a goal to, to get to that target weight because it's going to mean something to me. So I hope Hopefully, maybe this will motivate someone else to say, hey, you know what, you take that negativity and uh, do something good with it because that's what I'm going to do. I did block your ass, though, so you're not even going to see this video, you stupid people. But anyway, uh, off, off on a side, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So super stoked. Maybe I can get back out there and see if I can't, uh, you know, hit some hit some fun lap times. No, regardless, I'm gonna have a blast doing it. So that's the that's the whole goal. It's kind of why we work and ride on these. And I tend to like working on them more than riding them, but maybe I'll get back to riding, enjoying riding them as much as I do working on them. So this is my little uh, just I guess announcement video that uh, we're gonna be back at the tracks. I uh, want to give a shout out seriously to the content that Brian puts together over at SGT. Um, his product reviews and videos, there's been numerous times I watched him, and I'll give it a thumbs up or say cool, but it's legit, man. I've seen him do all kinds of different uh, videos on the products they sell and use, and him and his boys, teams, they, they, they just do a great job. So huge shout out to you guys, great job, and then... Uh, Maybe we'll see you at the track. So anyway, make it a great day, my friends. We are going to get back at it. I'm going to get back at it. Go make a healthy dinner and uh, keep going. So anyway, it, I hope you follow me on this journey. Make it a great night. See ya.